Hey and welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how to create and post your first Facebook ad. To do that, first and foremost, you'll need to install a Facebook Pixel on your website. Now, why do you need to install a Facebook Pixel? Well, Pixel is a piece of tracking code that can be installed on your website or page, and this is for analytic purposes. Facebook Pixels are used to track leads, conversions, retargeting your audience, and creating lists. It's also used to create a look-alike audience and to tweak your page according to your audience activities. So first part, let's create a Facebook Pixel. To do that, go to your business manager and click on Pixels. Then click on Create Pixel. Name your pixel and then click Create. Next, you're given three options to install the pixel on your website. You can use an integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself, or email the instructions to a web developer if you have any. Now, installing a pixel is very simple. Click on install the code yourself. Follow the instructions here. First, you need to locate the header code of your website, then copy the entire pixel code and paste it in the website header. You just need to click on this and you'll automatically copy to your clipboard and then you just paste it into your website's code. And when you're done, open a new tab Go to your website to activate a pixel, or you could just come back to this page and send test traffic to a pixel. And when you're done, click continue. Once you have installed a pixel on your website, the next step is to create your first ad. To do that, click on this button and click on Ads Manager. You will then be brought to the main interface of Ads Manager, and here are four tabs available. The first is Account Overview, which gives you an overview and analytics of the ad accounts you have and the second type is campaign. The third type is ad sets. The fourth type is ads. To create an ad, you'll always start off at campaign level. So to create an ad, click on this green button here, create. There'll be a pop-up and we are currently in quick creation mode. Now there are two modes which you can use. The first being quick creation and the second mode is guided creation. To switch between both modes, click on this button, switch to guided creation. The difference between these two modes is one is more efficient and quicker than the other and that is for people who have familiarized themselves with creating Facebook ads. In guided creation mode, you will be guided step by step by Facebook in creating your ads. So first off, to create your ad, put in a campaign name, then copy and paste it in your ad set name and also the ad name. Under buying type, you can leave it as auction. In campaign objective, there are three categories of campaign objectives. So the first one is awareness, second is consideration, and the third one is conversion. Now, don't be overwhelmed by the amount of object objectives here. Out of the many that you have here, we're most of the time using just four of them. So the four objectives are traffic, lead generation, video views, and conversion. Why this four? Because the first being is that these are the campaign objectives that are used by businesses to get results. Under traffic, the idea is to drive traffic to the website. So this could be your sales page or your landing page. Under video views, if you're using video, and let's say it's a sales video or a product demonstration video, you can run an ad on the video and have your audience view the video. So the strategy behind video views is to use it as a retargeting by running ads to people who have viewed that video. And the third one is lead generation objective. A form pops up when an audience clicks on your ad they then fill in the details you requested like name, email, and maybe phone number. So this is very suitable for local businesses who are looking to capture audience nearby them. And the fourth one is conversions. And these are normally for e-commerce stores or for businesses that have sales funnels. So for example purposes, let's select traffic. And when you're done, click on save to draft. Next, go on to ad set level. Click on your campaign and click Edit. At this level, first for traffic section, select either of these three options depending on your product. If you have a website, then select website. The next is budget and schedule, where you set how much you want to spend on advertising, your start date and your end date. Usually for budget, if you're testing a new product, it is recommended to spend between $3 to $10 depending on your budget. And when running an ad, Leave it on for 24 hours, up to 3 days, and monitor the performance. 
If it is getting you results, you can leave it to run. Otherwise, you can just kill the ad. So for this example, let's set the budget to $10. You can set the start date to any time you want, and you can also set the end date. Next is the audience section, and this is very important. You have custom audience, and this is for intermediate users. This custom audience or lookalike audience is something you can use when you have more data from your customers. Moving on to location. There is a difference between all of these options here. First, if you select everyone in this location, the ad will be targeted to anyone and everyone who is based in that location. Now, if you select people who live in this location, you'll select people who have a permanent residence in that particular location. And if you select people who recently were in this location, then of course it'd be people who could be just be passing by. The same case for people who are traveling in this location. So select people who live in this location. This is also useful for people who have brick and mortar local businesses. Then select country you are targeting and you can select the age and gender and the language. Under detailed targeting, this is for demographics, interests and behaviors of your audience. For example, if you're targeting entrepreneurs, just type in entrepreneurs and select from the list that comes up. A good rule of thumb is to select those with a high number of audience. And what are numbers that are high are those which are like 190 million, 435,000 people. So the reason for selecting is so you can have a high reach for your ads. Now, if you select something like entrepreneurship, this would be too general, even though the number is good. So you want to look at the list and find something a little bit more targeted. For example, school for social entrepreneurs. If you have a name of an authority figure, uh, a top leader or a person like Tony Robbins or Robert Kiyosaki, then... For example, then this will help because your product is catered towards audiences who like, say, Robert Kiyosaki. So once you're done, go to the next section. In placement section, you have two options. Either you can leave it as automatic placements or choose your own placements. In automatic placements, Facebook will automatically place your ad in all of its channels, be it Instagram, in between articles, or anywhere else where Facebook sees fit. What Facebook does is it has which of these platforms or channels yields the highest results. And when it has found that, Facebook will continuously advertise on that platform according to the objective you set. For an example, let's select Edit Placements. Under Edit Placements, you want to keep it to only Facebook feeds. The reason why is so you know which channel is working for you. So to do that, deselect Instagram, Audience Network, Right Column, Instant Articles, and keep it to Strictly Feeds. And when you have deselected all of this, you'll see that the potential reach is significantly lower. Previously, it was 7 million plus. Now it's only like 930,000 people. And when you're done, you can leave all this as default. Close this and you'll automatically save. Now, go to your ads, click on your ad and click edit. So in your ads tab, here's where you fill in your copy and your ad image. Now scroll down and select an image or you can upload your own. So let's select an image. And as you can see here, Facebook has a free stock images selection. So let's just choose the doc image. Once you're done, click confirm. The preview on the right side will show the doc image. And next, input your website URL. In the text section, this is where you paste in your copy and display link. It is optional. And this is used to customize the link display to show a different URL. This is where you put the headline. And this is for the newsfeed link description. Below here is a call to action button. There are various call to action buttons that you can choose. Normally it's recommended to not have a button and this is if you have a longer newsfeed description or a headline. So your audience is able to read a lot more. Now in a preview stage, you'll be able to see that the image like that still has a watermark. Don't worry, when you click publish, the watermark will disappear. And under the conversion tag, once you've set up a Facebook pixel, this will turn green and when you're done, all you need to do is click on publish. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.